Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today we are going to talk about Advanced Triggering Part 2 of a 5 video series, Part 2 covering Sequence and Rise and Fall Time Triggering. So if we go into our Trigger menu, select Trigger Type, then we can select Sequence B Trigger. Sequence allows us to combine an Edge A event, Main Trigger, with an Edge B event, Delayed Trigger, to capture more complex signals. And as always with an Edge Trigger, we can choose our Source, Coupling, Slope, trigger level, and mode and hold off. However, we can now also select our B trigger after A dependency. We can select a specified amount of time to elapse between the occurrences of events A and B before the scope will trigger and display the waveform, or we can select a specified number of B events to occur after the A event occurs before the scope will trigger and display a waveform. We can also restore these to their minimum values. Selecting Rise and Fall Time allows us to trigger on Rise and Fall Times. Selecting Slope, we can choose to trigger on a Rising Slope, Falling Slope, or either Rising or Falling Slope. We can trigger when Rise and Fall Time is less than, greater than, equal to, or not equal to a specified time using Multipurpose A to adjust our specified time. Selecting thresholds, we can use multipurpose A to adjust our high threshold, and multipurpose B to adjust our low threshold. Or we could choose a preset, again using the multipurpose A control. And as before, our source and mode and hold off controls have not changed. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support, or if you'd like to learn more about advanced triggering, please click on one of the links provided.